You've probably heard about people taking ice baths. You may have even seen videos of professional athletes sitting in a tub of water full of ice looking like it doesn't even affect them. It doesn't, at least not very much, other than improving their performance, but that's because they're adapted. If you want to get adapted though, it's not that easy. If you want to just jump in ice water, it actually hurts and it can cause like a cold shock. It's really uncomfortable. You get inflamed afterwards and it's just not a, not a pleasant feeling. The way to get yourself into ice water, or if you're like me and you're just kind of lazy and you don't really have the time or the resources to go out and buy 20 pounds of ice every time you want to sit in a tub full of ice water. It's kind of expensive and takes a ton of time. You can do it, at least some of it, in about two or three minutes. What you do is you take a pan about as big as your face or a dish and you fill it with about that much water and you put it in your freezer. Then you add water, take it out of the freezer, add water to it, stir it up so you have really cold ice water in the thing. Set it on the counter, take a deep breath, bend forward and stick your face in the cold water. The first time you do this, it's gonna hurt. You're gonna be able to leave your face in there for maybe five or 10 seconds before you take it out. It's, it's just a horrible shock. But if you do this every night, after just a week, you'll find you can leave your face in there for 20 seconds and you're okay. And by the end of a month, you'll find that, well, I, I guess I should get a snorkel because I can leave my face in there for four or five minutes. And what's going on there is that the nerves in your face are tied to the rest of your nervous system, particularly to your vagus nerve. So by just getting cold adapted on your face, you can do this and it changes your metabolic rate and it changes your sleep quality dramatically. So I do things like I sleep on a chili pad, which lowers the temperature of my sleeping surface, which dramatically improves sleep on the metrics that I use for my sleep. But so does soaking your face in ice water before bed, even if it's just for 30 seconds. This is almost free because you're using the ice that was already in the dish to chill the water. You're not buying ice, you're not filling a tub, and it's not as big as sitting in a tub full of ice water, which is a profoundly amazing practice. It, if you like the Bulletproof Sleep Induction Mat, you lay on the thing and you're like, oh, it's so sharp, and then all of a sudden you just melt. The same thing happens when you get in a tub of ice water after you've adapted using this face technique for getting yourself used to ice water. So all you need to do is just get this part of you inside ice water and you're on the path. Next up, I'm gonna do this amazing thing called stir it. So what I'm doing is I'm breaking the crust that forms and you could call this uh, reverse French press. Some people call it cowboy coffee. Uh, I call it immersion coffee sometimes. Like there's different ways of doing it. See the head of foam that's formed on it? This is similar to what you get with a latte. There are actually little bubbles still coming to the surface, just like a freshly steamed latte.